A cold case cracked more than a decade after the killing of a teenager in Roosevelt, a fugitive arrested in Texas and charged with a teen's murder. We are live at 5 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Stone Grissom. And I'm Kylie McVeigh. Police say they arrested the man as he tried to get back into the U.S. after fleeing to El Salvador. Yeah, they say the reputed MS-13 gang member killed the teen to try to gain street cred. News 12 Long Island's Sherry Einhorn has that story. Did you shoot Jonathan Harris? Prosecutors say Wilmer Mendoza may have thought he could get away with murder. After all, they say, he's been hiding out in El Salvador for more than a dozen years. But here on Long Island today, he faced murder charges. The alleged MS-13 gang member accused of being the trigger man in a gang shooting that left 18-year-old Jonathan Harris dead on this street corner in Roosevelt back in 2002. Ramambo Rudd says that tragedy really shook up the community. It was a very bad time around here, a lot of gang warfare. Fortunately, it's calmed down a lot. Investigators say Harris, who had just turned 18, was riding his bike with friends here on East Raymond Avenue when he was approached by a group of MS-13 gang members, including Mendoza, who they say was trying to gain street cred. The defendant and the other gang members approached him armed with bats, knives, and a gun. The gang members asked the victim if he was a Bloods gang member. When the victim replied that he was not, he was shot four times. These four men were arrested and charged in connection with the shooting back in 2002, but police said none of them actually pulled the trigger. Prosecutors say Mendoza was stopped and arrested in May while trying to re-enter the country after a flight from El Salvador to Texas. It's taken until now to have him extradited to New York. I'm happy for the victim's family that they can hopefully get some closure out of it. And uh, I just, in an ugly episode, you just wish everybody the best. I bumped into a former classmate of Harris's here on the block where the shooting happened. She couldn't believe they had finally made an arrest so many years later. Mendoza pled not guilty. He is being held without bail and faces 25 years to life behind bars if he's convicted. In Mineola, I'm Shari Einhorn, News 12 Long Island. Efforts to reach Harris's family today have so far been unsuccessful.